24 years ago, legendary Iowa football coach Hayden Fry granted a scholarship to a walk-on who had traveled over 6,000 miles from American Samoa to chase his dream. That walk-on was Epi Epinesa, and today his son AJ wears the Hawkeye black and gold as he paves his own road to Iowa football glory. First of all, I'm thrilled uh, Epi went here because I'm not sure AJ would have come if it weren't for that. I think there is a real, uh, truly a family atmosphere here, and we've had a lot of examples of legacy, you know, father-son type deals here too. But I think that's one of the great things about being at Iowa. I've always wanted to be an Iowa Hawkeye ever since I was young. I always cheered for Iowa no matter what sport we were playing. It was always the black and gold, and that's just how it's always been. AJ could have played anywhere he wanted, I believe, in college football. He was very heavily recruited. He saw something special about the University of Iowa, and I think that that was a direct reflection of his family background and history with our program. For a while, I wanted to play at Notre Dame, and for a while, I wanted to play at Oklahoma. I really didn't know where I wanted to go. All the other places had nice facilities. They had good teams. In the end, I felt that uh, Iowa was right for me because it felt like home. I knew that being able to work under Coach Ferentz and Coach Doyle, that I would reach my potential physically and mentally as a football player. He's a really good athlete. Multi-sport kid in high school, track, discus, basketball, six foot five plus 280 pounds. Those things are God-given. Outside of just the tremendous natural size and natural ability, he's just got such good hand strength and hand quickness. That combination of size and speed, you know, creates a power that's hard to it's hard to match. So when you have a guy that can come off that kind of speed, that can combine it with that kind of power and disruptive force, you know, he does a really good job of creating havoc and chaos and, and, uh, and getting to the quarterback and getting to the ball carrier. You know, he's a super nice guy, and then you know, when you get him on the field, it's, it's, it's kind of a whole different animal that gets unleashed. He's kind of like Two-Face, almost from Batman. He's got that happy, that laid back side of him that you can all relate to. And then when he's on the field, you know, he puts that eye black on. It's time to go to work. Although he didn't start last season, he led the Big Ten in sacks and earned first-team all-conference honors. But that attention has had consequences this season, as offensive lines double and triple team Epinesa to keep him at bay. He's seeing a lot of different looks, and people are coming at him a lot of different ways, different from last year when he was just in the relief role. There's going to be some guys that are definitely trying to, you know, game plan away from him. We're not putting the pressure on him like, hey, you have to make every play. Just play your position and things will work out. It makes me extremely happy to, to be a legacy guy and carry on a name through a program. I mean, we got the same last name on the back of our jerseys. So many people have come up to me and told me that they were here when my dad was here. It's a great feeling to be able to represent.